Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, and I'm here with Joe Keen, automotive video producer at Babcock's Media and ASC certified technician. We're going to talk about electronic blueprinting next in the AirPro Diagnostics Garage. In our last video, we discussed the first two steps to take when a vehicle comes into your shop that you suspect has ADAS features, identifying ADAS on the vehicle and doing a pre-repair scan. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the next step, disassembly for blueprint. Most shops are familiar with blueprinting, which is one of the best disciplines to be introduced in the auto body repair industry in decades. The increased productivity and savings for shops, as well as reduced frustration, is priceless. But now with ADOS, we also have to perform an electronic blueprint of the vehicle's electronics and safety systems. Otherwise, we're back to supplements, parts delays, missed delivery dates, and headaches. Okay, Joe, so we've done a pre-repair scan. Now we're gonna do a complete disassembly and blueprint for repair. Joe, why is this important? First, it's important to read the live data and get a baseline of the live module data, PIDs, and DTCs before disassembly. As far as blueprinting, it can help you figure out what electronic systems does a vehicle have? What is damaged from the collision? What must be removed or disconnected? What can be repaired versus replaced? It is a plastic bumper. What must be r and What will be replaced? What can be refinished or painted? What structural areas are damaged or need to be replaced and how would that would affect the sensor mounting? Will pulling to return to specifications be performed? Will alignment be performed? Good points, Joe. What about research? Yes, it will also help you research things like codes found during the scan. What must be programmed or initialized due to being disconnected or replaced? What must be recalibrated? Also, how far and at what speed must the test drive be done after the post scan? Researching and performing the repairs to the OEM repair procedures is critical too, right Joe? Yes, and each OEM is completely different. And remember, they are the ones who engineered their vehicle and know best how to safely repair it. Right? Otherwise, how would you know that some manufacturers require a full bumper replacement and recalibration based on ADAS equipment? It's important to understand that DTCs can be set during the disassembly process and could trigger certain calibration requirements. The simple removal and installation of a part can do this. Also keep in mind that as the complexity of vehicle technology grows, it is not a reasonable expectation that any body shop or even one mechanic on staff can service and calibrate all these OE's unique systems. That's a great point, Joe. And remember, AirPro Diagnostics can help you with all of this. In our next video, we're gonna discuss body repairs as they relate to a vehicle's electronics. I'm Jason Stahl, thanks for watching.